Hi, I'm Nick with Race3D, and in this video, we'll be talking about the dissolvable support material, BVOH. Now, before we get into BVOH specifically, we want to talk more generally about support structures and dissolvable support materials. BVOH is a water-soluble material, meaning that if you leave it in water, it absorbs and sort of melts away into the water. If you're printing parts that you want to keep from dissolving in water, then you need to use a material for parts that are not water-soluble. Luckily for us, most other FDM material isn't. But BVOH isn't the only material that's water-soluble. Another one that's ready available is PVA. PVA is the same stuff that glue sticks and the white liquid glue used in elementary schools is made out of. PVA, like BVOH, is water-soluble, but where the two materials start to differ is their compatible temperature ranges. PVA tends to sit on the lower end, and BVOH will take the high end. This means that we should be able to use higher temp materials like ABS, nylon, and even polycarbonate with it. One of the main things to consider when printing dissolvable support materials is the overall layer binding compatibility between the part material and the dissolvable support material. PVA has pretty good layer bonding to all of its compatible materials, and with BVOH working with the higher temperature ranges, they can be a little bit more sensitive to the difference in layer bonding capabilities. For something like an ABS or an ASA, on these test prints here, there was a little bit of a difficulty with layer bonding for the smaller details, and especially on parts that are being printed essentially as islands, or parts that are putting the layers down directly on top of the support material without having a direct link to the bed itself. So for the brain gear prints here, the frame across this is going to have better overall uh, success rate because it has anchors that go all the way to the platform. The gears themselves are floating, and in these cases, the teeth at the bottom here, which are going to be printed directly on support structure and nothing else, are going to be the most sensitive points uh, in the rest of this print. So we always want to consider those sections. In regards to something like polycarbonate, this print came out very, very clean in the smaller sections, but did have some issues, again, on the very first section where it starts printing that base on top of the BVOH, um, and then a little bit where it was closing off that top part there. So there were some lines in this, but that can be fine-tuned out, and again, we are still testing the material. And then working with nylon materials. Working with nylon materials with BVOH is going to be one of the trickier prints as well. Nylon typically doesn't like to adhere to anything other than itself for support material or specifically uh, blended support materials for carbon fiber nylon. If you want more information on the nylon supports, check out our E2CF. For the material compatibility with BVOH and nylon materials, that's where it's going to be very important to have the anchors or make sure that you have some part of the outer perimeter of the print on the bed surface. And that's going to make sure that the nylon has sections to adhere to and a better chance to succeed with BVOH. Another big thing to consider is the moisture content of the material. BVOH and PVA are hygroscopic materials, meaning that they'll just absorb water from the air if they're left out. This is going to degrade the overall print quality, and it can lead to uh, worse layer bonding and a higher chance of stringing with this material. So you want to keep that in mind. Best way to treat it before printing is to have the spool of BVOH in a print dry or a, another drying chamber. I usually recommend about eight hours to a full day of drying beforehand at roughly 55 to 60 C. And then once the material has been dried for that time, then it can go ahead and be used for printing. After that, then you would just leave the part with the support structures in a bucket of water. Something that has filtration and agitation is going to be best to speed up the dissolving process. But otherwise, uh, all it would need is warm water to dissolve, and then you'll have the fully printed parts without the support structures. And if you want to try BVUH yourself or had any questions on it, go ahead and check out our website or email inquiry at race3d.com. I'm Nick, and I'll see you in the next one.